Hey, this will be a video chart on QEDN, QED Connect Incorporated. Done this one a couple times in the past, I believe. Want to get it updated here, uh, basically for one reason. Well, two reasons. First being, had some nice volume coming back in, biggest volume it's had in you know two or three weeks. And uh, more of the fact is that we had some nice price action. Sure, it closed even on the day, uh, but nonetheless, with this volume, it, it showed that it you know went all the way up to triple zero seven. Uh, so it showed some life, showed that it can still move with an appropriate amount of volume. Uh, but my guess would be, you know, today's, this part of the candle today was just simply formed uh, from traders that were had gotten in and decided to take advantage of the volume. Um, but with that being said, you know, I think it probably wiped out some of them. So if volume can stay up like this, I think the chart's got a, a pretty nice uh, looking future here this upcoming week. Uh, but of course, that's going to kind of depend, or not kind of, it will depend on what sort of volume. Like I said, I think today's volume was more of a cleansing type where it, it cleared out the people that were you know nibbling on these days let them get out and hopefully with another big volume push uh, you know the chart could you know head back up and make better progress this time because uh, this day took care of all the profit takers that wanted to get out in this area uh, so with that being said just kind of review these lines here all from the last time I did it um, it's good to see that this key support line which I drew here continues to hold strong uh, kind of the overall pattern of the chart right now is basically a, a bull, pennant, bull, flag, whatever you want to call it. This is our flag pull, and then we have basically something that looks like this, where this is our resistance, and then this bottom support level makes the, um, the bottom of our, our triangle. And then if you use your imaginations, so I'll try to draw it out. So like I said, um, here was the flag pull, and then here's our resistance line and then we have this support line here so you can kinda of see a pennant here if you're out on a golf course you know that's kinda of what we're trying to go this is bullish the reason it's bullish is because it is happening within a uh, uh, overall uptrend context and I say that because if you look right there at this purple line here the 50 day simple moving average you can clearly see that it's increasing and even if you really squint hard you can see the 200 day simple moving average is starting to get a, a positive slope to it uh, so that's always an encouraging sign too so to the back to the chart here, um, the question kind of becomes, so let's say we do get some volume. What are the key levels that we want to see break and so forth? And in the short term, the key resistance is just very clearly this triple zero seven. Uh, why do I say triple zero seven? Well, if you look at the price history here, uh, actually even extending it back here, you can see that you know once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and then six times, the price has come up and gotten knocked down by this triple zero seven right here it did get above but you can see it never was able to close above it just went all the way back down so uh, with a break of triple zero seven uh... you know that's th this is definitely a stubborn level to try to get through but the good news with these stubborn types of levels is usually when they fall they produce nice price movements and with the way the chart shaped up right now i could see uh... with a triple zero seven break uh... the price possibly making a quick move up to you know this level up here which is the previous high on our move here or should have brought this down a little bit uh, but right here is uh, the high of um, 0.001 so like I said you know will it for sure just shoot straight up there I don't know but if you look at the chart and you know past resistances really triple zero seven is the only one that's holding it back from uh, getting back up to here sure we've had a couple here at triple zero eight but only two so when you compare you know six times the price has got knocked down to two uh, you know, I think that with a break of triple zero seven, that could really kind of uh, be like the first domino that falls over and, and gets things cruising. In terms of supports, this one's pretty easy too. Uh, the one you'd mainly want to hold here is the 50-day simple moving average, or just uh, you know this triple zero four. If this does fall, then you definitely want to hold triple zero three, like it's been doing a great job of. I'm not going to count up all those times, but you can see uh, the multiple times the price has dropped down there and down there and hit that. Um, but with the way things are looking now and the positive volume, uh, I think uh, the the main question this week is: Are the bulls going to be able to bring in enough guns and firepower to break through this triple zero seven level? And if they do, uh, I don't think they're going to need quite as much firepower to get back up here to this double zero one area. So, should be an exciting week, and um, you know we'll kind of have to see what happens. If there are any other questions on the chart, please shoot me a message. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you subscribe to our free newsletter, you will get a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks.
So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is everything's free. So it's worth at least checking out and giving a try. One more time, this was QEDN. Thanks for listening and have a good weekend.